for the blower don't even turn it on. This is just, just, just radiating heat off. I turned the heat down this morning when I left. So it wouldn't get too hot. But it went up to like 40 something degrees and the house doesn't lose the heat like it does then. So who's going to win the Super Bowl? I don't know who's going to I think Denver will get it. Stupid fucking news on shut up. I hope Seattle Super Bowl. loses. Super Bowl, Super Bowl. Yeah. Uh, I hope Seattle uh, loses just for one reason, because that little fuck with the dreadlocks at the last game going. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I hope they lose. Don't talk just, about me. Don't talk about me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, just for that reason alone, I hope they lose. Super Bowl. Oh, my crackers almost forgot. <laughs> well, after the rest of the soup. All right, Mike. I'll see you next time. See you next time. Walking Dead's coming up soon. Oh, boy. Next week, I think, is the first one. Of well, the second half of the season. Huh? Till then. What'd you forget? No. Okay. Uh. Let's see if we can meet Dracula on the way home now. Wow, it really feels warm out here, doesn't it? Well, you say it's not. Uh, it's not. It's, it's about freezing. I can feel it under my feet. Freezing, nothing. Like Mushy 46 snow. degrees out here. Right. It's going to be like 50 tomorrow. Dressed too heavily. Yeah, it'll be like, it's gonna be uh, 40. No, 45, 50. Oh. It'll melt some of the snow just in time for it to come back for next week. It'll make it muddy. We'll just get freezing rain or rain next week, I think. Maybe some snow. Who the hell knows? But it's fuck a lot better than below zero, below zero, below zero, below zero. That never is fun. Uh. It's warm, it'll give Terry a good opportunity to go out and look for a job. <laughs> As if. How are the bills getting paid? Billy. I guess they're both on relief, I don't know. He's not back to work yet either. Guys, a bunch of fucking idiots on that ghost and finish show. <laughs> Jesus Christ! In Eastern Europe, poking around in places like that—that's asking to get in. You could be the, the abandoned remains, some kind of weapons factory or some shit like that. You know, God knows even bio weapons. You don't want to be messing with that shit. Start digging right here. I was watching that documentary about the places in—I think it's in the former Russian Republic of Azerbaijan, and they got huge germ factory that was over there mm. that's just standing there open it was one big abandoned facility and the other one is still habitated but it's no security nothing you walk in you're poking around abandoned places there you walk in and shit like that you come out with smallpox and anthrax and god knows what else it's like some of these guys in the abandoned places videos over here I say, what the hell are you thinking going into that? Big industrial complex you're poking around in there. You don't know what's in there. PCBs, asbestos. Hmm. That crazy Canadian woman. I mean, what the hell? Oh, yeah, her. Oh, she's just one of hundreds on YouTube doing that shit. She's one of the better ones. You know, at least the videos are better narrated such but uh, there's plenty of people posting that kind of stuff. Kedsby is her 
into these, you know, basically crack dens and shit, you know, take a fucking gun with you. Better get a whole goddamn SWAT team. One of these days, just gonna fucking disappear. We're gonna wonder how come she don't post videos no more. Yeah, her? yeah. It's because her bones are at the bottom of a well somewhere in some old abandoned house. You see the rabbit? Yeah. Wow, first sign of uh, warm weather. Oh, yeah, it's out. It makes something. Fox will get it soon enough. Charger for my light. Did you? Yep. And, uh, never guess where I found it. In the basement. No, no, never had a Tag chance. Sale. No, 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 Sears. Oh. Go over to the clearance rack and I had the same exact light. And a little power pack on it. It's a dinky little thing. It's <laughs> yeah. not some monster. It's some dinky little thing. Yeah, not that big these days. So then, uh, I said, how much for the light? And the guy said it's out of the package, so they uh, have to knock off a few dollars off of it. So I said, all right, well, plug it in to see if it works. And he puts it on, puts it in the charger. It didn't come on, so he let it sit there. All right, well, maybe it has to charge up. I'm like, all right, and so, and, and, <laughs> so nothing, and so like half an hour goes by. I'm like killing time, this up in Waterbury, I'm up at the mall, uh -huh. come back, it's still under the counter, it's still plugged in, nothing happens. They're like, well, you know what, maybe the you know outlet is dead. So he goes uh, into, a, into the back office and says, you know, I said, this should come right on. Yeah. So he goes, well, let me try it again. Give me 15, 20 minutes. So I have five foot, went back to the food court and ate again. There's a big shock. Came back. I never would have guessed you went there of all places. Where am I going to go for a walk? Uh -huh, yeah. So I came back. Things still didn't work. Huh? So shit. So I said, uh, he said, well, that's why it's on clearance. So I said, well, what's broke? Is it the, is it the light or the, uh, or is the power pack no good? So uh, I said, well, I guess we're going to have to throw, throw the thing out. Or I said, we can't just, I says, uh, can I have the plug? And the guy goes, here, hands it to me. <laughs> so I'm like, well, because I know my light works. Because Mike tested it. It came yeah. right on, if you remember. Yeah. So I, okay, went home. And of course, mine's stone cold dead. I plugged it in, waited about three seconds, <laughs> cracked right on. Huh. So the one at the store, the light at the store is no good. Yeah. So now I got me a... <laughs> Lights on in the facility. So when this is fully open, you want to go for a tour? No. Why? <laughs> Why would I want to do that? Chrysler the Baron back there. I thought those were pretty cool when they came out. They were junk. Oh yeah, man, were they junk. The coolest one was, I guess, the red convertible. They were junk, too. <laughs> K-cars, right? Well, you know, they were cheap. Cheap, being the operative word, transportation. And they didn't last very long. They started falling apart after a while. <laughs> They had a lot of experimental shit in them that really wasn't perfected yet. They were working with different ignition systems, primitive fuel injection setups. Grandparents had a Dodge, uh, Dodge K. Mm -hmm. Came out in 1980. Had something white before, like a or 81. Or no, it came out in 81, actually. Yeah, I think that's when it was new, 81. Yeah, Four door Dodge K. I think we have pictures of it. They thought the neatest thing on it was when you left the key in, and you hear a door is a jar. Okay, that wasn't the K then. To have that, it had to be 
the LeBaron. They had a Chrysler LeBaron. I remember that car. No, it was a Dodge K. We got pictures of it. Well, the K car didn't have the speaking dash. That was only in one car. We're weird because we got yeah. pictures of the Brown, and then, then the, the funny thing, she said, "Door's a door, not a you know." That's what. Yeah, that, that was a big, actually a very expensive feature for the Chrysler cars at the time, but only under the Chrysler nameplate, not under the Dodge or Plymouth. They used it for I think three years in the Baron, and then they gave it up. Hmm. People were getting annoyed at the, the, the yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and there were problems that didn't work right, shit like that. Oh, what is it? It's a cat. Yep, kitty yep. cat. I'm gonna run for it. If your flat cat keeps that shit up. So Tiger's not coming in tonight. Oh yeah, he'll be in. Oh really? It's cold enough. Yeah. His food is inside. I didn't feed them tonight, so. Well, they had some. He'll usually be loitering around when I get home somewhere. If he's not there, he'll be sleeping somewhere. He'll be in the morning. Tell Terry she needs to go apply for a job and get it, get fired from it so I can make a bet to see how long she's going to have the job for. Oh, uh, yeah, well, I told her you would say that. I told her you'd be very, very disappointed. That, I you know, need to know at, at hand what the job is so I can guess. Yeah. It's hard to say, well, a job. Well, 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 well she's kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel for jobs here because it's, she's been let go of so many places now that, you know, there's just not much left. She told me she learned how to do makeup at Bosey's in high school, and I said, well, apply to the uh, funeral homes. You don't like live people. You'd be working with dead ones. They're not going to bother you. That hey, makes a lot of money. money. Yes, it does. I told, told her that. I said, if you don't like working with a living, who else are you going to work with except the dead? That's your only other option. You know, did high in, uh, school for her was 30 years ago, so who the hell knows if she still remembers how to do it. When did she graduate? Oh, God, I don't know, the 80s sometime. Same as we did. Gotta remember some of that stuff. Well, you gotta remember there was a lot of drinking and drugs going on at that time. And you know what that does to the brain, especially the memory cortex of the brain, you know, you, there's a lot of things disappear. They weren't joking when you said this is your brain on drugs. They, they were not joking about that. that little clip on Family Guy where they're making fun of uh, Bridges Meredith in the Twilight Zone, <laughs> you know? But there was time, you know? And then they yeah. show the, the one selling Peter's brain, uh -huh. you know? I can drink all I want. Uh -huh. <laughs> and look, I'm the last brain cell left. <laughs> and then the little brain cell breaks his glasses. <laughs> but that's not fair. <laughs> there was time. <laughs> Just Meredith was a rip. I always loved that line he had on grumpy old men. <laughs> Grumpier old men, actually. What's the one where they did the bloopers at the end? That was both of them, actually. He was, he was trying to. Who, who was the old lady he was trying to pick up? Oh, that, that was uh, Sophia Lorenz. Lorenz uh, Sophia, that was mother, yeah. Got a big zucchini for you. <laughs> I've been to Hawaii. <laughs> Have you ever been there? No. Yeah, I was at Kamana Wanalea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Got a big old zucchini for you, and he's going like this. <laughs> no, I am not going out with you. <laughs> Don't they go on a date at the end or something? Yes. <laughs> Catfish hunter. in one hand and wish in the other. See which one gets filled first. Yeah, I've heard that a few times. <laughs> What's the one where they're playing cranks on each other? That's both. Oh. Cut the anchor on the boat. Dead fish in the back of the car. Oh, he put the cat in his truck. Yeah. He tore the seat up. The dog. Yeah, putts. <laughs> Schmuck. <laughs> Moron. The thing with the fucking ice over the roof. The water. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, the be best one of all was with the remote controls. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta do something. I gotta do something. Quick. 
Da, 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 boom. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> He's trying to win a lot of desperately there. The what was one where somebody was in the shitter? No, that wasn't the shitter. That was the ice shack on the, on the, the lake. The ice shack, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Jack Lemon is in, is in the ice shack on the lake. <laughs> He comes along it with a truck and pushes it into the fucking the weak ice. Where is that? Michigan? Is that supposed to be? Wisconsin, I think. <laughs> I like when they're on the way to the funeral. They better be dead. That's the only excuse I'm accepting right now. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's the only one of the <laughs> That was the last hurrah for both of them, really. They did a series of movies. You know, they, they redid The Odd Couple, and it was the one about the ocean, uh, the boat there. And that, What's that the one it. where uh, there's senators or congressmen, and some old guy in a Rolls Royce giving him a ride, and he croaks? That I don't remember. He has some old guy driving like a Bentley or something, and then he has a heart attack, and they're stuck out in the middle of the day, and finally a cop pulls up. Don't know. Uh, that doesn't sound familiar to me. Is that one of the movies did a long time ago you're talking about or more recent oh, before they died? Late, late 90s. Oh, I don't know. 2000s. Doesn't sound familiar. Right around the time of Grumpy Old Men. Grumpy Old Men was actually 1993. Oh, later than that then. With Grumpy Old Men coming about a year and a half later. But yeah. But they've both been gone for quite a while now, so. Do you know who else died just recently? Burgess Meredith. Um, well, no, him too. The, um, oh God, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. The father. Oh, yeah? I, I don't know particularly Uncle Phil. Uncle Phil. Yeah, I know who you're talking about, yeah, baby. Yeah. I don't know the Died actor. Right, right after New Year's, yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh. What happened to him? I don't recall really watching that show with any particular regularity. Well, I saw it on the news. I didn't know. I just like seen it. I know the show of the show. Yeah. Clips they show here and there. Because Will Smith is a big celebrity now, but I never really watched it. It wasn't really my thing. Next week we should see, uh, well, we won't see it till the week after. But. Captain Phillips? Who? Oh, that, oh, that's on the wait list. Oh, but we may see that movie next week, but I'm, I'm saying not a movie, I meant, um, you know, Walking Dead. Oh, I know. I'm not sure if it comes out next week or the week after. I gotta check. I don't know. Well, it's not I've saw it as a cease coming attractions. I did too, yeah. Or mention of it anyway, so that means They, they showed a clip of uh, Daryl and, the, and the, the, the daughter running. They, yeah. Somebody gets him with a blow dart or something. It was like a little two-second clip, and it said, coming next week. <laughs> well, one thing that's not coming back is the governor, that's for sure. Mm, Satan, motherfucker. He has definitely been written out, even as a zombie. Yeah, yeah. Unless his animated head still will be existing somewhere, I don't know. Because I think she cut his head off, but I don't think she, she killed the head. She did, yeah, yeah, she did. She I, I don't think she, uh, she beheaded him, but she didn't kill the brain, now. So that means the head will still remain animated. Must destroy the cerebral cortex. Well, like I said, when Jimmy Darmany, he wouldn't be on the show anymore, I was wrong. He did make a cameo. Yeah. So maybe the governor might make a cameo. Yeah. A, a year later, they might show a clip of it or something. You'll see the, you'll know by the eye patch. <laughs> 74,219 miles. <coughs> so what was on it last week? 72,000 something? Damn. Our time flies. Not time, just the mileage. It's only been one week, seven days. How many miles did I put on it? Almost 2,000 miles, I'm guessing. I'd have to review the video to see for sure, but it was around there. Must be something wrong with the odometer. 
Sure, it's the odometer's fault. Yeah, could be the lead foot. See, he's going over the thing slow. He's drunk. Him too, see? Another drunk. What's your excuse? <laughs> I can give Terry a whole bunch of websites. She has enough porn links, Scott. She doesn't need any more. Job websites. As if she's looking. Which I highly doubt she is. Well, I know she isn't because she said so. The moment, anyway. She's taking a hiatus from job looking. How that differs from her normal life, I don't really know, but... She's so taking a break from all the... Oh, yeah, yeah, the hard work of looking for a job. Problem with her is, you know, Billy continues to support her. That's why. Uh, now, if I was Billy, I would lose 300 pounds in an instant. I'd get rid of that. Yep. Save a lot of money that way. And she immediately hits me. I said, what do you do that for? <laughs> How do you know what I'm talking about when I say that? I didn't mention you in any way at all. I just said, if I was Billy, I would lose 300 pounds. Now, that could mean I went to the casino with 300 pounds, British sterling, and lost it at the craps tables or whatever. You don't know what I'm talking about. Right away you assume something to do with you. Well, he's not working either. The sooner or later he's going to run out of money. Then they'll both be on a dole. I don't want cars out tonight. Well, it's early yet. That's why. It's only 12.55. The drunks are still meandering home. Last job, she did go out with a bang. Yep, 90 minutes long. No, I meant the, uh, the, the biggest person of the place. Oh, the CEO firing her personally? Yeah. Came that, down. 98% uh -huh. of your firings are the secretary calls you up, supervisor says, all right, step in my office, or, you know, mm -hmm. you don't have the head, the head person owner of the big cheese coming down and you know that that's you know that, that, that that's beneath them that's not how it works yeah <laughs> there's so many people online before the CEO who are authorized to fire you yeah. even though you as the owner and the boss and the president said make it happen uh -huh. you know even though the memo came from you right how many people do you have to go through it before you get to the her supervisor? That's usually how it works. Oh man, you see That's that nasty that? carcass on the side of the road. The CEO personally came down. Yeah, oh well, I guess she says I'm the CEO was actually visiting that day for some reason. Caught sight of her, and that was that. Not the assistant supervisor, not, not the, the vice president, not the CEO of the company. Time I want to see the supervisor, the assistant supervisor, the secretary who hired her. <laughs> how does she get in the building? Who vetted yeah, her yeah, background? Yeah, how, exactly, does she get, yeah, yeah, exactly. how does she get clearance? You know. <laughs> You're all fired. Get out. And tell an employee, employment agency they're fired too. <laughs> Yeah, one of them is uh, Ethan Allen staffing. I wonder if she's using them. I don't know. You have to ask her. Mm, I forgot. I meant to. I, I totally forgot. Yeah, it's uh, Ethan Allen staffing. That's uh, at least one of the uh, 
What? What do we got here? What is it? Snow? It's the bag. McDonald's bag. Kind of almost got into a fight with the woman at the drive-thru a while back. Big Macs, two for uh, two for the price of one, or whatever. Yeah. Go in there, you know. All right, I'll, I'll take yeah, two two for three dollars. What it was, something like that. Yeah. yeah. All right. So then, uh, all right, two Big Macs, and you know, okay, that'll be uh, you know eight something. I'm like, yo, two for one. Oh, we don't have that offer no more. Well, the sign's still up. Well, somebody should have took it down. All right. Well, then, give me like the fucking two Big Macs and. Uh, I was there too damn much, but I was just watching the McDonald's commercials from the seventies the other day on YouTube. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they're on that. Two all meat but it's best sauce yeah. cheese because it is meat bun. I remember the flying pickle. Uh, how about the roast beef sandwich? I don't remember that. Would have been the late sixties. They've had a lot of weird sandwiches over the years that they've tried. Yeah, you had the uh, the, the pineapple, shake. the pineapple one with the. Uh, it was late seventies pineapple with beef. Really? Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, they tried that very briefly, and uh, it didn't work out too well. Don't remember that one. Well, yeah, a lot of little things. Literally hundreds of small things they've tried over the years. But I always get my Big Mac, and that's my thing at McDonald's. It's always been my thing at McDonald's. Going back to the late 1960s, it would be my thing at McDonald's. When I was a little kid, that's what I would have. I'll never forget, 1973, I believe it was 70, yeah, it would have to be 73. When that, when that one opened here? Yeah, we finally got McDonald's in Carmel. When did, when did your grandfather take you there? The very day it opened, I oh, was yeah? the third person in the fucking door. No shit? Yes. Did you drive up or were you waiting? They didn't have a drive through at that time. No, I mean, did you, like, just drive up and get in, or were you waiting to get Well, in? we drove there. We specifically thought it was a big deal at the time. Yeah, we drove down there. I remember that. And you were uh, waiting to... Wait, yeah. Ah. You're kidding me? My grandfather took any excuse to violate his diet. You know? Ah. <laughs> that was a special occasion. Yeah, we went down there. In the late, in uh, 73, how old was he? Ah, uh, he was 63 when he died. He would have been 61. Not just 73. Died young. Yeah, back then they didn't have all the modern miracle shit they have now for heart disease. You know, Mesha's wife, Mrs. Simon, is in the hospital. She, uh, they, had, we, they took her out on an ambulance Monday. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, up in the house. Yeah. And she had trouble breathing. You know what it was? So they transported to Putnam and they found out she had uh, flu around the heart and in the lungs. Mm. So uh, she, she hadn't been taking her medication properly. But they also found out she has a leaky valve in her heart. That's what's really causing the problem. Now they're going to do open heart surgery. Damn. Probably this week. Which is not always... Uh... Well, they say that's her... You know, they say there's two ways they can do it. to go through the leg, the artery, you know, angioplasty uh. style. Or the, the best way, the way they want to do it, is to crack her open because that's the best chance of doing it properly. The 97-year-old woman over in uh, Heritage Hills had to have that. They had to go up through the leg. I can't remember what it was I'm called. surprised they did it at that age. That age. She must be pretty 97? strong. 97? Yeah, yeah. She's, and this, this was uh, six months ago. And now she's back to her old. Yeah. She's still in assisted living, but yeah. But th this is this is what her daughter, who's who's like, you know. Yeah, older self. You yeah. know, yeah, you know, and you know. But yeah, well, she's eighty-three years old. She is the daughter is, I believe. Probably in her seventies. Like late seventy-nine or eighty. That's yeah. that's what Jane said. That's another the radio. She said. Yeah. And it was the same thing when I was talking to my old school teacher about all his kids. You know, he keep talking about uh, David and um, Elizabeth because you know, they can't handle the farm no more. So she says, you know, the kids aren't young anymore. And I'm remembering no. them like it was five minutes ago in the early 80s when they were like in their late 30s and their 40s. Yeah. This is 1980 and 81. All good. Yeah. This is January, February, March, April. January, February, March, April. April, she'll be 102. Yeah. So now, which would make Douglas uh, the son, he would be, oh God, what is he now? He's, in his, he's, he's, like, he's like in his fucking 70s, almost 80. It strikes me all the fucking time, you know, somebody walks in that I knew 30, 40 years ago, whenever it was, school, and 
I'm like, who the fuck's this old guy? You know, I, I don't even recognize people anymore. You know, like, what happened to you? Where's the fucking hair? Where'd that come from? You know, what the hell? You look like you got sandblasted over the years. What the fuck? Two thousand eight? Two thousand eight. Two thousand late two thousand eight, early two thousand nine. Uh my buddy's kid got married. And I remember back in eighty eight when I saw her when she was like barely nine months old. Now of course she's twenty, uh, what was she eighteen, nineteen? She's like twenty. Mm -hmm. And she got married, she got pregnant, she got married and everything, so I went down to the wedding. And uh Doug showed up. I remember uh, some guy with uh I don't know, 31, 32 inch waist, big upper build, uh -huh. short hair, you know, this, 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 and that. You know, now, at the wedding, of course, Doug ended up marrying Penny, Sam's ex-wife. And so anyway, how you doing? I go, Sam, who's, 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 who's this I bald, said, fat bald, guy, you know? fat, hunched over, yeah. fucking Coke bottom glasses, uh -huh. 100 years old. He goes, it's fucking Doug. Doug. You know, I'm going, you know, that Wilbur motherfucker. That's fucking, holy yeah. fuck. If you'd have seen a picture of him, and it's not, and this is not like, I remembered it, to, I remembered exactly how he looked was weird because I saw pictures of him. And I'm going, Well, oh, the unfortunate God. fact is some people simply do not age as well as others. You know, it's like it's genetic predisposition. They age quicker. My God. Chronologically, they may not be that old, but they look they look a lot older. Or life does it too sometimes. It's just all kind of like you leave. Oh, yeah, it happens to be all the time. Like, who the hell is God, this? Yeah, it's old, old, old fat fuck guy. Is this I, old? I don't know who the fuck it is. When the fuck did we get old, old, fat, and gray and shit? You know, I'm like, what the fuck? I understand we don't look like we did when we were in high school, but although some people do say I, 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 look, I don't look too damn different, but shit, you know? <laughs> That's why that guy down in Lakehurst, you know, he was because you got your name on your badge, he's going like this. He goes, and I'm like, yeah. yeah, yeah, I see the name, I see it. Okay, and who are yeah. you? Yeah. I know, I wouldn't you, you know, some short little five foot four, five foot five skinny kid with zits and glasses, whatever. Uh -huh. Now he looks like a foot taller, 300 pounds bigger, uh, you know, uh -huh. gla you know, thicker glasses and uh, no hair. And I'm like, I know, I if, you tri if I tripped over you, I'm like, I was just remember you from, you know. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, I believe you. He goes, he goes, he goes you had a top bunk and booty. How would you go? Did you join in, uh, you know, October 87? I'm like, yeah, damn, well, apparently you know me. I don't know you. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, 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 oh. I have a lead for you. For a bumper sticker? No, trains. Oh, God, I'm not really one buying of, them, but. One of whether you could, you might get a very good deal out of this. H.O. or O? H.O. Uh -huh. They're H.O. They're old. Oh, yeah? U.S. made old. Talking probably early 60s, early to mid 60s. That's, that's the, the shit that I have, yeah. yeah it's Kenny, Kenny uh, Gilbert. He, he's a customer of ours. I have his card, not on me. I'll have to call you with his number if you want to get a hold of him. He, his brother passed away. Now he's got this box of train. So this is actually a couple boxes. Look at that. Oops. See something sneaking over there. There's actually a couple of boxes. He's not looking for a huge amount of money. He has no idea what they're worth. I don't either, for that matter. I can tell them what they're worth, or if they're now, I'll give him good money. Yeah, I know you will. That's I'll have to call you during the week with the phone number. I got I got his. Yeah, I'll go over and look at it. If anything else, yeah. I, I won't screw him on the deal, but I'll say. Uh, I told me I only know one guy's really into trains. and might know anything at all about them. I so. can at least tell. I don't know if I'll buy them, but I'll tell them what they're worth and what they are. Unless there's something in there I really want. New Haven stuff, maybe I might buy than 